Hey everybody, it's Devin from Maniology and today we are going to be talking about a quick stamping cleanup hack. So let's give people a few minutes to join. Um, sorry I was a little late today, I was trying to make sure that my scraper card was clean. I'm going to be real. <laughs> um, so for those of you who are joining, how have you guys been doing? We are on strict quarantine in Hawaii, so it's been interesting. There's absolutely nobody at the beaches, but aside from that, I'm very thankful that Maniology is having us work from home, and it's been, it's been pretty good so far, pretty good considering everything that's going on. So I hope you guys are doing well. Hey! So for those of you who don't know what today's discussion is going to be about, it's about a quick hack for stamping cleanup. This is perfect for when you are in a rush and you don't have time to wait for your Manny mask to dry or if maybe you're out of supplies and you just haven't had time to pick some up. So this is perfect for that. Um, also, you'll notice today I'm wearing a glove. <laughs> because honestly I just haven't had time to do this hand so I'm gonna I'm gonna hide it for you guys and we'll just focus on the hand I did do so let's get started this is actually gonna be super super fast I'm gonna turn the plate around to yeah sometimes I like to work with the design um, upside down because it's a little easier for me this is just a personal preference you don't have to do it this way but oops if you don't have um, any mani mask or cuticle tape and you're trying to figure out how am I going to do my manicure, then this is my favorite trick. So we kind of mentioned this last week in the live. Um, I kind of gave Tiana a little, little, little trick there so that way she could use that um, since she didn't have some of her supplies with her. And for those of you who are wondering, also, this is from our Corner Cafe subscription box for this month. So in case you guys are wondering, where did I get this plate? That's, you can check that out on our website. So draw a U shape for your polish. This way you don't have to clean up the cuticle area. And make sure when you scrape, you scrape upwards. Whoops. Okay. Then you see this? It's a nice U shape that matches up. And I'm just going to try and stamp this on. Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't get a, a full pickup, but you can see already how. That worked beautifully. I don't have any um, leftover stamp here. So it's really awesome because now I don't have to worry about cleanup as much. Obviously, the stamp wasn't a perfect transfer, but it's enough to explain the concept to you guys. This works really well for um, dense full nail designs. So I selected the coffee the coffee pattern here because that was a good way to show you with these kinds of designs the trick can still work but um just for today's demonstration and like visibility purposes i i opted for something a bit more dense with print so i'll show you guys again kind of using a light color i didn't want to use a dark color since today's base is actually just polish um and i didn't want to have to like take it off and redo it and paint and then show you guys all over again so I'm just going to use another nail to show you this awesome trick. Let's try maybe this design. So if your nail, um, your cuticle shape is not round like mine, you could try doing this trick with a kind of like a squoval shape. So let me look at my, my thumb is kind of squoval shaped. Uh, this cuticle line area here it's not like a, a perfect U so for that I'll show you you can still kind of do the same trick and maybe just adjust the the shape a little bit so 
since I know it's not going to be like a solid line, um, you can kind of see how I tapered the corners just a little bit. Oh, whoops. Okay. So there, I kind of tapered the corners just a bit. And I'm going to just start from one corner. Then I'm going to just do the other one hopefully it lines up oh yay it lines up I was so worried my nails are um not as wide as this as these designs so sometimes can be a little bit difficult so there you can see and now I don't even need a cleanup brush guys I don't need anything really um so this works really really well for stamping However, if you're doing something that has black or really dark colored stamp, I would recommend getting your Manny mask out or your cuticle tape if you've got it or whatever, you know, barriers you have because that would probably be something that I wouldn't want to take as much of a chance with because then that means that if for some reason anything ends up over here and I have to clean it up with a brush, it's just going to end up possibly staining around my finger, especially if your skin is dry around this area or you have like hard rough parts of skin um dark polishes love to cling to dry hardened skin and it makes it very very difficult to clean up later it's not impossible but it just takes a little bit of love and time so in those instances i would definitely recommend you know uh wearing something around this area just to kind of reduce any of that however light colors like this you know if there's just a little bit of fallout here um i didn't have any as you can see but if there's a little bit of fallout here and there's a little bit of that excess stamp you can just take your brush and clean it up and it's going to be really quick and then you also won't have to worry about cleaning around the whole finger and the whole nail so we can try again so that way those who maybe didn't get a chance to see it earlier can see it again i'm just gonna use actually I'll try using this design because that looks pretty dense and I'm um, since the rest of my fingers are like more u-shaped cuticle area I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do a u so you can adjust this for how wide your nail is how long it is see since my nail is a little bit skinnier I kind of tried to do it a little thinner on the sides okay there we go you can see perfect I didn't have to clean up or anything Sorry, I'm using a light color, guys. I just didn't want to get the... I have some hard skin over here, and I didn't want to get it all on my, on my skin <laughs> after. Someone asked if they can use any type of polish to do this trick with. You can try using other regular polishes. However, stamping polish is specifically pigmented um, to be a lot more bold with the color. So regular polishes, since they're used to... They're used as a base color and usually the rec uh, the normal recommended process is to put two coats of color um it's not very opaque with one coat of stamping um uh, one coat while using stamping does that make sense so for example if i tried to do this design with let me see i think i had a polish right around here obviously this is a sheer polish but if I had tried to use like one of these kinds of types of polishes, um, not maybe this color, but maybe even if it was a different color, it wouldn't be as opaque as a stamping polish. Um, stamping polishes are formulated specifically to have nice, strong, bold um, line work when you're stamping with them. Even if the designs are very, very thin, you'll still be able to get a really nice pigmented design so that way you can clearly see what's going on. 
Um, so that's the difference between stamping polish and regular polish, and that's why we prefer to use stamping polish. Let's do one more. I'm just going to do the rest of my nails, if you guys don't mind. And then after that, we'll end this live. Thank you so much for everyone who's joining. I am really happy to see that we have a lot of people who are interested in this trick. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw the U. Kind of drew a wide U. Maybe I'm not going to do that one, actually. Because these two nails, especially my pinky nail, is really um, little. <laughs> So I'm just going to skip over that and just use this side of the plate. And then make sure you are scraping upwards. You don't want to scrape down or else you're not going to get your U effect. right there but still came up pretty well you can see there's still nothing like on my skin or around my skin let's try one more time for my pinky I'm gonna use that coffee design because I think that's a really good design to show you guys the benefits of using this trick So since my pinky is super thin, or um, not very wide, I'm just going to do a very small space like this. Whoa! Aww. Shoot. <laughs> it was a little bit too early with that. Dang it. Well, at least you guys got to see these nails. They did all pretty well. You can see there's no, no cleanup needed anywhere. Uh, someone's asking about the shape of my nails. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of oval. It's kind of pointed a little bit. I don't really have a. A specific shape that I'm using just because usually I wear my nails longer but I cut them down this time and then on top of that I just try to match what is going on over here some people's nails have this is a really in-depth topic <laughs> um let's just I'm trying to think of ways to shorten this. Okay, so because I have a U-shaped cuticle, I think that it matches that my nail is more rounded at the tip. Um, also, I have really short nail beds. My nail bed is actually only about this big. If I had square on my nails, it would make my nails look really, really, really short and stubby. Um, people who do want to rock their nails like that, that's totally fine. Everyone has their own personal preferences and reasons why. I just personally... Uh, want to lengthen my fingers so in order to do that I have to do this shape to help make my fingers look a little longer because I actually have very very small hands and short fingers so um, yeah that's just my personal preference uh, but yeah it's kind of like a rounded oval thing going on it's not fully round and it's not fully pointed <laughs> it's kind of a in the middle um, even my almond it's not like a, usually when they say almond, it's like you can put the almond on your nail and it'll literally like match up. But mine's a little bit rounder than that. Again, short, short nail problems right now. So thank you so much for joining us. And if you guys have any more questions and I wasn't able to get to it in this live, we will be going back in the comment section and answering those questions a little later. So please make sure that if you have any kind of things that maybe we weren't able to address, uh, please type them down in the comment section below. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm really happy I got to share this trick with you. This is a really fun one. And um, I'll see you guys later.
everyone's day. Again, happy, healthy, and safe. Bye.